Today we are doing a week in my life, a little work week in my life. This is my first week working at my brand new big girl job down here in DC. I did an entire video on my first day of work, which was yesterday. So if you guys want to see the first day of this week, like Monday of this week, I will put that video up in the cards. That's going to be like a separate video just because I feel like the first day deserved its own video, but this is going to be the rest of the first week. So Tuesday through Friday. So good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's 7.45 a.m. I am currently obviously eating breakfast. I just woke up a little while ago. I need to leave here in about an hour. I'm gonna try and leave like 8.45 ish. We're chilling. I just made a little bagel for breakfast. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte. I'm a post-grad lifestyle and productivity vlogger living in Washington, DC, and I just got a corporate job. I've been getting a lot of people commenting that they don't like when I say big girl. Now I'm like self-conscious about it every time I say big girl, which stinks because I love that phrase. Being like, oh, this is my big girl apartment or like you know I just got a big girl job like I love that phrase I feel like it suits this part of my life so well people are saying like oh you should like don't say big girl you're not a baby like you're an adult I'm like yeah but that's the whole point of the phrase big girl is like it's somewhere in between like childhood and adulthood I'm only 22 like I don't really feel like a full-fledged adult yet I feel like I'm still figuring a lot of things out like this is my first time living alone first time living in a city first this isn't my first job, but like, it's been less than a year since I graduated college. So for me, the term adult doesn't really fit. So I started using the phrase big girl, but apparently it bothers a lot of people. So sorry. Anyway, I just got my first big girl job down here in DC. I work in like social media, communications, marketing, PR, branding, like that sort of area and I really really like it so far it's super fun I had such a great first day yesterday oh my god you guys so I am very very excited about this job and I can't wait to see how the rest of this week goes Cheers. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to the vlog. I am so excited to be filming this little work week in my life. I'm gonna finish eating breakfast and then get changed and get ready for the day. And then we'll head out for my second ever day of work. All right, gang, here is the fit for today. This is my day two outfit. This teal sweater is actually from the paper store, oddly enough. And then I'm wearing these like cream, wide leg pants. These are the same pants that I wore for my first day. I wore them in green and then today I'm wearing my white version. I really like the style of pant. Like I said, I wore these same style of pants yesterday in a different color and then today I'm wearing the white ones. And then I'm wearing my same Adidas sneakers that I got from Amazon. I got them like for work. I'll link them down below. I'll link the pants too. They're also from Amazon. And then we've got my little work bag. This is from Glass Ladder Co. I will link this down in the description as well. I've got, I don't have a ton of stuff in here. I've just got like my water bottle. Um, I'm not even bringing like my personal laptop today because I got my company computer yesterday. So I left that at the office, but I've just got, I went through and did like a what's in my work bag, like mini segment in the first day of work vlog. So there's not a ton of interesting stuff in here, but I've got like my water bottle, um, like some paperwork extra like deodorant stain stick pen i've got like a mini travel lotion in here so that's the work fit for day two unfortunately i am having to bust out my like heavy duty winter jacket as much as it pains me to say it is 34 degrees outside right now and i'm not really feeling the whole like freeze my butt off vibe so we're busting out my down coat but that's the fit. Let's head out for day two and I will see you guys Just when we get back. Me breaking, Go inside your mind. 
All right, gang, we are back from work. It is 6.30. Oh my God, there was a crash on the highway on the way home, so my GPS took me like the back roads way to get around the crash. It was like, oh, it's saving you time. Like this is the fastest route. And it normally takes me like 30 minutes to get home. And it took me 50 minutes to drive home. Oh my God, I swear to God, I was on every single highway possible. It was, I'm a little bit tired. I'm like, my head hurts, I popped some Advil in the car. So that was a lot, but it was a really good day today. Just getting like settled in. It was a really quiet day at the office. Normally during like a regular work week, the job will be hybrid. So I'll still figure out like what my schedule is gonna be, but for at least two weeks out of every month, I'll be going in person Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then I'll be remote on Tuesdays and Thursdays. For this week, because it's my first week, I'm gonna go into the office every day except for Friday, I think. Get adjusted, make sure I'm like getting my bearings, all that stuff. So it was a super quiet day at the office today. Tuesdays is one of the days that most people like work remotely. But I had a really great day, just like learning some more things. One of my coworkers and I went out to lunch. We got tacos for like Taco Tuesday. It was so nice. And then we also went out to a couple different stores to like see branding and packaging like in real life. So it was just a really great day. I had just like, a lot of fun, like learned a lot of things. If you guys didn't see my day in my life, I mentioned in that video too, that I'm gonna be a lot more like private about this job this time around. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you guys a lot about like what I actually do during my day, just to like maintain confidentiality for the company. Just know it was a really great day. But as I came home, I got some packages that I picked up and I wanted to do a little unboxing. I know what one of them is, but I don't know what's in here. But this one is from Amazon. I'm pretty sure this is a pair of shoes. I did the like try before you buy program for two different pairs of shoes. The like Adidas pair that I was actually wearing today was one of them that I decided to keep. And then the other ones I got in the wrong size. They like didn't fit the way that I wanted them to. So I'm pretty sure these are just the replacement shoes in the correct size. Wow, that was super fast. I haven't even returned the other ones yet. Are these the right color? No, these are gray. Okay, I literally can't tell. I feel like I'm going insane. Yeah, these are not the right color. That's infuriating, but they're actually, are they? No, not even close. Okay. I feel like when I look at them, they look similar in certain lighting, but they're not. Okay, so these are the ones that I just got, which now I'm also gonna have to send back because they're not the right color. So now I've got one, pair in the color that I want that I have to send back and another pair in the size that I want that I have to send back. Okay, anyway though, um, these are the shoes. They're just like cute little slip-on sneakers, like casual sneakers. The office is a very casual dress code, like casual dress environment. Oh, these don't really even fit even all that much better. Are these even the wide ones? So I don't need to worry about wearing like dress shoes or anything, which is really nice because most like dressy professional shoes are not comfy. These ones are cute enough that like I can wear them when I'm like not to work, not only to work. I feel like I said that sentence weird, but whatever. Okay, these also don't feel like the right size and I'm wearing the socks that I would wear with them. I don't know about these. I don't know. I'm gonna walk around in them for a minute. I'm gonna have to send them back anyway because this isn't the color that I wanted. We'll give it a chance. Not that I'm making them sound great or anything, but I'll link these shoes down below if you guys like them. Other package that I got is from my Uncle George, which I was not expecting, so I don't even know what's in here. I know that my Uncle George watches my videos, so. Shout out to Uncle George. Hi, thank you for the package. Oh, cute. This is, it's like, um. This is the official national park guidebook to Washington DC. It's got like a ton of info about like the history and the architecture, like got a map of the city. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, he also sent some recipes. That's so cool. Okay, we've got one for Tuscan chicken. Ooh, this looks really good and looks like pretty easy to do also. But we've also got a couple other recipes. This one is for cherry pie, zucchini pie, and strawberry soup, which seems a little bit more like a dessert than like an actual soup. Oh my gosh, so cool. That's so fun. And then there's also a little card. Oh, so cute. Thank you to my uncle George. This stuff is so cute. I feel like this would also make like 
a really cute little coffee table book, even though I don't have a coffee table. I don't really want a coffee table, but I do have a space like on my TV stand where I can put coffee table books. So I think this will be a really cute one. And I definitely want to make these recipes at some point. Thanks to my Uncle George. My plan for right now, it's like sunset-ish. I have very strategically not sat down yet because I know if I do, I will not get up for the rest of the night. So I'm going to change into a little workout set and I'm going to do a quick little like easy beginner Pilates, like 20 20 minute Pilates class, just like find a video online, just to like move my body around a little bit for the day because I know I'm very tired and I need to like lay down, sit down, lay down. But I know if I do that first, if I like sit down on the couch for a minute, it, I'm done, I'm over for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna change and we're gonna do a quick little Pilates and then I still need to figure out dinner, but we'll do that later. I'll figure that just out after. the door this morning but I wanted to say hi first we made it to the halfway mark of the week this is crazy I feel like this week is going by so so fast before I started working my weeks went by very very slowly because there wasn't like a whole lot of stuff going on but these past two days it's just been like go 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 busy like learning a whole bunch of new stuff and getting to know a whole bunch of people it's just been like a lot going on which always makes the days go faster at least for me, I feel like it does. So I'm like in shock that it's already Wednesday somehow. I'm making my little blueberry bagel with cream cheese to go. I'm just wearing a pair of jeans and this little sweater, green and white striped sweater from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And I'm gonna race out the door. Happy Wednesday. All right, gang, we're back from work. It's like dusty outside, what the heck? It's 526. I don't know what's going on right now, but my commute home this afternoon was just all traffic. Usually like when I went for my interviews and like for my first day, the traffic was not bad. Like it only took 30 minutes to get home. And then yesterday and today, it's taken me 45 minutes to drive home. I think they're doing construction or something or there was another crash or something, but like, oh my God, it was just such bad traffic coming home. And everyone says like, oh, DC traffic is the worst, but I'm going like against traffic. I think I've explained this on a different day, either in my first day vlog or yesterday, or maybe this morning, I don't know. All the days are kind of blurring together, but I'm supposed to be going against the traffic, so it's not supposed to be that bad. And yesterday and today, it's been kind of annoying, but I'm also trying to manage expectations, you know? Like I moved to a city where it's notorious for having traffic. So I'm, I'm gonna need to expect a little bit of traffic. <laughs> anyway, I changed out of my work clothes and I changed into some athletic workout clothes because I'm gonna try and rent a city bike and bike over to the Jefferson Memorial and see the cherry blossoms in like the tidal basin. DC has amazing cherry blossoms during like the beginning of spring like March is pretty much when cherry blossom season starts and I've been wanting to go over and see the cherry blossoms and I just have been thinking like oh I'll save it for the weekend I'll save it for the weekend I'm like if I keep saying I'm gonna save things for the weekend I feel like I'll never end up doing them so I wanted to just like change and go rent a bike pretty much as soon as I got home so I wouldn't give myself an opportunity to change my mind so hopefully that goes well. Um, I think I'll be there like right in time for sunset, which is gonna be really cute and fun. So um, I'm like only a little bit nervous. I rented a city bike for the first time ever last weekend. I had to bike over to Whole Foods to make an Amazon return. It went really well. Like I had a great time. The bikes are really easy to rent. They're pretty cheap. And what I love about being in the city is like there's bike lanes everywhere. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be easy, but you know, you never, actually no. So we're just gonna try it out. I'm gonna put my AirPods in with like my GPS going 
Um, and hopefully we catch the sunset. It's 5.30 right now. The sun is supposed to set at 7.20. So like we're chilling. I think it's still gonna be daylight by the time I get there. Let's give the city bikes a try and go see the cherry blossoms. It's not that complicated. If you need me, what's the use of playing games though? There's no denial what we want. Just watch me break in. I'm never gonna recover from that bike ride ever. I'm gonna be feeling that bike ride for the rest of my life. Here's the receipts, okay? Hour and 10 minutes, total distance, 5.65 miles, okay? There's all the proof. Average speed, less than five miles an hour. Y'all, oh my God. As I, I went and I picked up my bike and I had to like get through the city and go over a bridge to get to the like little island where I went to see the blossoms. And I'd never done that on a bike before and it was like a bunch of left turns across like three lanes of traffic and I'm on a bike and I didn't have a helmet on, which I know is bad, but like I don't have a helmet down here so I need to get one. So I'm like being super cautious and then all of a sudden I start hearing all these sirens. Do you remember? I said this, oh my God, I said this when I came home. I looked out my window and I was like, it's kind of smoky out, it's like foggy. It's like dusty outside, what the heck? Something happened, I don't know what it is. I literally don't know. And I'm desperate to know because I'm biking down um, like this the bike lane down the sidewalk and I hear all these sirens and there's all these police cars and like ambulances Kind of like coming towards the area and I was like, oh, that's weird because usually they just go by like it's pretty typical for like Ambulances or fire trucks to drive by like a couple times a day in the city So I'm kind of got I've like gotten used to it at this point But then it was a ton of them and then I I'm trying to cross the street I see one police motorcycle go by and then I don't see anything else. I'm like, oh, okay, it's safe to cross the street. I start crossing the street and then I start hearing yelling. I'm getting screamed at by these two police officers that are standing on the sidewalk on the opposite side of the street that I'm trying to get to. And I'm like, oh my God, what's the problem? Like, why are you yelling? I'm sorry, what did I do? And I turn my head to the right and there is a caravan of police officers, like police motorcycles, police cars, armored SUVs. I have a video of it. I'll put the video on screen right here because I have no idea what was going on. So I'm like, oh my God, I just crossed the street in the middle of a police like siege. I don't even know what's happening. I stopped on the sidewalk and I was like rubbernecking. I was like, what's going on? As of right now, <laughs> I don't know what happened, why there were so many like emergency response vehicles with sirens and lights. So I crossed the bridge. I'm like, okay, I'm almost there. It said on Google Maps when I put it in, from the like bike pickup place to the island, a 19 minute bike ride. I was like, fabulous, that's great. I'm biking, I get I get across the bridge, I finally figure it out, I have my like GPS is giving me directions in my ears the whole time. But I'm still like, I'm having to pull out my map and look at my phone with one hand, so I'm trying to bike down the street with one hand and hold my phone with my map in the other hand, it was such a disaster. It wasn't a disaster, it was fine, but like I was anxious the whole time. And then I get to the island and it's so beautiful, oh my god, it's so pretty, I took so many pictures. And then I look at the island and it's not that big and I realize I've already gone like, in my brain, I was like, oh I'm halfway. I was actually a quarter of the way because I was halfway down one side of it and then I needed to come back the other side. So what I should have done is just turned around and gone back the way that I came in and it would have been perfect. But instead, overachiever little me was like, no, I'll go, I'll do a loop around the entire island. It's not that big. And my GPS was still plugged into like the end point where I would turn the loop and go the other way. And it said it would only be six more minutes. I was like, okay, so it can't be that far. Y'all, oh my God. It was so lovely, those six minutes to get to the end was so lovely because the wind was behind me. And then I turned around and I started coming home and I put it in my GPS and it said it was gonna be, same thing, like 
12, it said it was gonna be 12 minutes from where I was back to like the place where I returned my bike. Oh my God, holy crap. I kid you not, I was fighting for my life biking back. The wind, oh, something, the, someone had it out for me. I was dying. I was moving like maybe half a mile per hour. I was going so slow and my legs were so sore and it was so humbling. Yeah, I was I was hurting. And the wind, the whole time the wind is blowing, it's howling like I can't even hear my music. I can't even hear my GPS because the wind is blowing so loud. And I'm like, my legs are never gonna forgive me. I'm not even gonna be able to walk tomorrow. I should do like some stretches or something so I don't collapse. Yeah, that's my exercise for the day. It is just about seven o'clock right now. I am exhausted. I'm going to, I brought leftovers home from lunch today. So I'm gonna have leftovers for dinner, which is so nice because I really don't feel like cooking anything right now. So I'm gonna change into my comfy clothes and have leftovers for dinner. But it's Wednesday, which means a new episode of my show is out and ready to watch. I talked about this a few weeks ago. I did a day in my life, like a productive day in my life video. And the whole reason that I filmed that video, I filmed it on a Wednesday, was to motivate myself to get everything done before I sat down and watched the premiere of the new season of my show. I'll link that video somewhere either in the cards or in the description if you guys haven't seen it but it's the rookie on um abc and then it gets posted on hulu the next day so it comes out like tuesday nights and then wednesdays it gets posted on hulu but i love my show so much like i love it so much to the point where like if i <laughs> if i watch it before i finish anything else that i need to do like i won't get anything else done for the rest of the day so that's another reason i wanted to go like get my exercise do my bike ride today before i came home and like relaxed in the apartment so that now i'm back i can change i can eat dinner and then I can watch the new episode of my show. So that is my horror story bike ride. You can still see how red my face is. I get so red when I exercise. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day and I will see you guys tomorrow after the new episode of my show. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Again, I know I said this yesterday, but I'm saying it again. I can't believe it's Thursday. Like this week is going by so fast. Today is gonna be my last day in the office this week and then tomorrow I'm gonna be working remotely, like I'll be working from home. So today is the last day that I need to wake up at 7.30 and I'm excited to have a little bit of extra time to sleep in tomorrow and then obviously this weekend. I'm so sad, y'all know I ended yesterday's segment with um, how excited I was to watch the newest episode of The Rookie and it's not on Hulu yet. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. For some reason they didn't post a new episode at all. Like a new episode didn't air last week at all. And then this week, a new episode aired on Tuesday night like normal, but then it didn't get put on Hulu and it usually gets put on, like it airs Tuesday at like 9 p.m. I think, and then it gets put on Hulu at like 5 a.m. on Wednesdays. Um, so it should have been there in theory by last night when I went to watch, but no such luck. So I didn't even get to watch my show last night. I had also, oh my God, okay, so yesterday I had a meeting that I needed to go to at noon. So I set an alarm on my phone for like, 11.56 so that I could do whatever I needed to do and then when the alarm went off I could go to the conference room <laughs> and then forgot about it because I ended up watching the clock like a hawk anyway. <laughs> my alarm never went off at work and I forgot about it and then tell me why I'm fast asleep in bed and then I start hearing this like alarm going off and I kept my work phone which is where I said it in my work bag which is out like in the entryway so it's like it sounds distant. I'm like, is one of my neighbors having an alarm going off? Like, what's going on? And I was like, no, this is like, it's too loud to be coming in from through the walls. Could not figure out what was going on. Kind of forgot that I had a work phone. Cause I was like, it's not my phone. It's not my computer. It's not my TV. Like, it's not my watch. And those are the only electronics that I have in my apartment. Like, what is going on? I was like, it's too quiet and too like peaceful and calm sounding to be the fire alarm. So I follow the noise out to my work bag and it's my work phone with my alarm going off at 11.56 or 57 p.m. woke me up from a deep sleep. It's saying, go to the conference room. I was like, oh, good, <laughs> good, 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 good. Anyway, happy 
Thursday. <laughs> what day is it? Happy Thursday. We are so close to the end of my first week of work, which is so cool. I am going to finish getting ready and then we're going to head out for the day and I will see you guys when I get home. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Hi guys, we are back from work. It's 6.45 and it's still gorgeous outside and in my apartment. Like the sun is coming in, so nice. Oh my God. I just finished filming my apartment tour video for YouTube and then also I did like a mini version over on my Instagram and TikTok. I was nervous that like the sun was gonna go down and the lighting was gonna get bad while I was filming, but no such luck. It's still gorgeous. It's still great lighting. I can't believe like Thursday is pretty much over. Like I've said so many times in this vlog, like I feel like this week went by so quickly, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It just went by so fast. Like there's no way that tomorrow was Friday. Like I mentioned this morning, today was my last day going into the office for work today and tomorrow I'm working from home, which I'm so excited about. So like I brought my computer home and everything. I brought my work phone home and I'll get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow, which is really exciting. Oh my gosh, I meant to pull my chicken out of the freezer. Whoa, don't do that. Maybe I'll just make a salad for dinner. That actually sounds pretty good. And we'll do like a micro chefing with Charlotte as I just cut up some vegetables and make a salad. I should probably go to the grocery store, but maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that like on my lunch break or something because I don't really feel like going back out today. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready for the rematch. So cold, get over yourself. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now where enemies. All done. That was actually surprisingly easy. <laughs> Chuffing with Charlotte, episode three. Um, presentation, we're giving a 12 out of 10. This is literally the most beautiful slice of chicken breast I've ever made in my life. I just found an air fryer recipe online that said to do six minutes on 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't trust that, so I put it in for an extra three minutes. So I'm not trying to get food poisoning. And then I just did chopped up romaine lettuce, celery, and carrots with some Italian dressing. So let's try it. Cheers, chicken first. Mm. I've been pan frying my chicken because like I have a recipe that I like that I trust. The air fryer is so much easier. I'm gonna start air frying my chicken. Salad, I mean, it's salad, but cheers anyway. Oh my God, okay, 10 out of 10. Wow, exciting. That means we are three and oh in the Chefing with Charlotte series for 2024. That's really exciting. If anyone has any recipe suggestions, let me know down in the comments. One of my goals for 2024 is to like cook and experiment with food more. So if anyone has any like easy entry level recipes, hit me up, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna finish eating this and probably see you guys tomorrow, unless something else happens tonight, something exciting. But if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I am having my first work from home day today. I am so excited to be in my PJs. <laughs> I got to sleep in this morning, which was so nice. And then I just set up my computer and my work phone. Generally, kind of what I've gathered, like what I've talked to my coworkers about is like Fridays are kind of like a catch up day, like anything that you haven't gotten done during the rest of the week kind of like you can work on that on Fridays so I've got some things like different materials and stuff that I want to like read up on get my bearings I'm working in a new industry that I've never worked in before it's sort of like adjacent to the entertainment industry which is really cool so I'm learning a lot I'm like getting a lot of new um new information like like I said learning a lot of new things so today for me I feel like it's gonna be 
like a research day where I'm kind of like learning more about a bunch of different things that I might not be familiar with. So it's about 10.58 right now. It's about 11 in the morning. I already had a call with um, my boss, like one of my supervisors. We already had like a little weekly check-in just to see like how's the first week going, how's everything. But other than that, I'm just kind of like clearing out my email and like I said, learning about all the new stuff that I need to learn about. It's getting kind of like gloomy and gross outside, which is kind of a bummer because I actually have to run some errands today. I need to go to the grocery store. I did actually discover this morning while I was trying to make something for breakfast. I was like, wow, I actually don't have that much in the way of groceries right now. I think during my lunch break, I'm gonna run out and maybe get some grocery shopping done. Oh good, 50% chance of rain. And then tomorrow's a 90% chance of rain. We're also on flood watch. I don't know why that's a thing, but apparently there's a flood watch in my area. Anyway, that's my update. I am definitely staying in my slippers and sweatpants all day today. In my previous job, it was like fully in person, like in the office every day of the week. So I never had like a work from home day. Obviously like with YouTube and everything, that's pretty much work from home like every day. <laughs> but I think it's just gonna be like a chill, relaxing day. So I'm going to get back to it. And I will talk to you guys probably in a few hours when I go for lunch i might i don't know maybe i'll go grocery shopping there's a trader joe's not too far away but we'll get there when we get there <laughs> i'll see you guys It's 5 p.m. I didn't end up taking like a dedicated lunch break because I was kind of just like taking smaller like five, 10 minute breaks throughout the day. Just a more like unstructured day. I need to clean my kitchen. It's disgusting right now. I'm in this loop where I keep running my dishwasher at night and then I'll wake up in the morning and my dishes will be clean but then I'll have all my dishes to put in the dishwasher, but I need to unload it first. It's just a laziness thing. Like it's literally just a timing issue on my part. But then whatever dishes I use throughout the day, I can't put in the dishwasher because I still haven't unloaded it, whatever. Anyway, I didn't end up going to the grocery store, obviously. I am thawing my other chicken breast right now. I was gonna make like pesto chicken with pasta and a side of broccoli like steamed broccoli or maybe i'll use green beans because i've got a bag of green beans that i need to use that are gonna go bad soon but the work day is officially over we made it through my first week of work oh my god <laughs> i'm kind of feeling like grocery store is a tomorrow problem mm, i should probably go tonight i'm out of water but i really don't want to <laughs> um i don't know if grocery store is a tomorrow problem maybe it should be a today problem like i should probably leave the apartment i haven't gone outside all day today <laughs> i'm gonna do my dishes first and then i'm gonna decide whether or not grocery store is a this evening problem or a tomorrow problem store first up i got a case of waters we've talked about this in previous videos i drink bottled water because the dc water is just awful a lot of you guys commented in my last video to try like getting the gallons instead of the like individual bottles i definitely want to start doing that because it's less plastic so it's better for the environment i need to figure out a better transportation system because with the gallons i only have two hands and i need to be able to carry the rest of my stuff a lot of people suggested getting like a wagon or a cart or something i want to do that but again i haven't yet so it's a work in progress. And then the rest of everything in no particular order. I got some bananas, raspberries, three honey crisp apples. Oh, I meant to go back and get pears. Oh well. Container of cherry tomatoes, some romaine lettuce. 
I got this, this is ice cream. So I've never tried this before, but it seemed, it seemed interesting. This is NYX Swedish style light ice cream. As far as ice cream goes, better for you than like a Haagen-Dazs or something. Another carton of milk, cause I've been running low. I also got two cans of soup, bag of pretzels. I don't know if they're actually better for you than like chips, but in my head they seem better. Some more chicken breast, more baby carrots because I used the last of them when I was making that salad yesterday. I got some Caesar dressing. Also was thinking of the salad I made yesterday. I had to use the Italian, so I wanted to get some Caesar. I got more microwave popcorn. I wanted to get popcorn kernels, but I couldn't find them. Ziploc bags, some like smaller size Ziploc bags. I got some tea. This is hibiscus, strawberry, and raspberry flavored teas because I want to try and be more of a tea drinker. And then lastly, I got some yogurt. This is the Activia brand. I usually get Yoplait, but they didn't have any. So we're going with Activia, which is apparently better for you. Can we sense a trend? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Okay, it's 7.30. I'm pretty sure my chicken breast is done defrosting. So we are gonna do a super quick little chefing with Charlotte. This is the second chefing with Charlotte that we're doing in this video. I don't know if I ever gave you guys like the backstory of this series. It kind of started off as a joke back in Michigan. I do not consider myself good at cooking. I never have, mostly because I just don't do it very often. Not something that I really enjoy doing. I don't hate it. It just kind like makes me nervous. So back in Michigan, it kind of started as a joke. Like one day I made dinner on camera in a video like this and I was like, let's hope it's not a horrible disaster. And it actually wasn't, like it ended up being fine. So it's kind of like a meme. It's like a self-deprecating meme a little bit, like chefing with Charlotte. It's actually turned out pretty well. The last couple times that I've done it, I think, I think yesterday we said we're 3-0. and So I'm getting better. I also don't cook anything super complicated and I am the only judge, so. Like I said earlier, we're gonna do chicken with a little bit of pasta and then also a steamed veggie or like a roasted veggie on the side. So welcome to Chefing with Charlotte, episode four. <laughs> Let's get started. Hopefully this doesn't take super long. of wine I meant to get more wine at the grocery and then I forgot to bring my ID with me so I couldn't um, I'm gonna be so honest with you guys I am nervous about these green beans I think they might have gone around the bend they're smelling a little a little suspicious everything else looks great but the green beans do not <laughs> I'm actually not eating those Food poisoning's not really my vibe right now, um, which is really unfortunate because this is the second time that this has happened. So I need to either start freezing my green beans or stop buying green beans or just start cooking them like day of, but these are not happening. <laughs> Does that make this an automatic flop? I feel like we have to try the rest of it first. Um, okay, pesto chicken. I'm not gonna bring this over my couch, so mini cheers from here. <laughs> It's good. It's good, it's not great. I don't know, the chicken that I made yesterday for the salad was better. I think I might've cooked this for a little bit too long. Um, okay, yikes, we're striking out. Um, last but not least, we're doing the pasta. I mean, it's just pasta, so how bad can it be? Cheers. <laughs> Pasta's good. I mean, it's just pasta. It's not really like, doesn't really have all that much going on. Probably could've used a little like something, something. I put like butter and salt on it, but. Oh my God, is this the first flop? of chefing with Charlotte? I think it might be. I think the green beans are an automatic disqualification. Wow, bummer. I mean, I'm still gonna eat the chicken and the pasta, don't get me wrong, it's delish. I'm thinking of this as like, if I were on a cooking show right now and this were an elimination round, I think the green beans would send me home. All right, well, bummer. Uh, that brings my 2024 chefing with Charlotte record to three and one. No longer undefeated. That's okay, we'll bounce back. <laughs> ah, God. All right, guys, I finished dinner. I am going to 
watch a movie, settle in for the night, and head off to bed. So that is gonna be it for this video. I feel like we did a lot in this video, but it was so fun. I had such a great week. We had such a great first week of work. I'm so, so excited about this job. If you guys enjoyed coming along for this work week in my life, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you join the family. We are gonna be having lots more DC lifestyle and corporate content coming very soon. So. Stay tuned for that. If you guys have any suggestions or videos that you wanna see on my channel, let me know down in the comments below. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. So let us dance this Bye guys. Night away.